Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do an outfit of the day video, also kind of a little vlog, and then I have two questions I want to ask you guys. First up, it's cold. Well, it was cold. Yeah, it was cold. It's not cold anymore. I know that's funny. It was really, really cold last night. Um, we had to turn the heater on this morning when we woke up actually for the first time since it was cold last, like in February, I guess. Anyway, um, can't stand to, to sleep with the heater on. I can't stand. I don't like heater to begin with, so it, dry, it drives me nuts. It drives my sinuses crazy. It drives my skin out. It makes me itch. Um, so I can't stand to have it on while we're sleeping. So we literally freeze our butts off at night um, with just extra blankets. Actually, my husband's the same way. He can't stand to sleep with it either, so I'm very lucky in that aspect. Anyway, we had to turn it on for the first time because uh, my husband gets up and showers in the morning and you know that's not so great to step out into a very cold house um, and just take a very warm warm shower. So he turned it on this morning before he took a shower and um, I turned it off before it drove me nuts once I got up. Anyhow, um, so cold that I needed to wear a trench coat this morning. I needed to wear my trench coat this morning so I pulled it out, put my hands in the pockets and voila, I found this lipstick that's been missing since like February or March when I bought it. I literally only wore it twice before I lost it and have been searching for it since then. And it's that Force of Love lipstick from the, what was it, a Mac Chinman collection? Like, I think it was February or March, but came with the budding love one, the real pretty kind of blue lavender one that I love. Um, but that's this one and that's what I'm wearing. It's a matte lipstick, really, really pretty. I know it's, it's a special collection, so you won't be able to get it. But it was a very pretty color, and I've just been, yeah, at a loss for it and found it. So that's that. Trench coat I had to wear this morning. Um, I took off and have not put back on because it's actually really hot now outside. Um, so that's that. But let me show you what else I wore. Okay, so I just have on my... Um, Lucky boots, they look like that. I cleaned them with some saddle soap, so they're actually a little darker than what they were originally. And since I bought them, I've been considering darkening them up just a tad because there were times where I didn't really like the color, it was too light for me. Since I've cleaned them with saddle soap and they've darkened up, I wish they would go back to their lighter color. Go figure, right? So anyway, they're clean though. Um, and then I've got on my Target jeggings. And this shirt, which is an Isabella Oliver ah. shirt, it's just black. It's got kind of, um, no, 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 don't, don't pull that, don't pull that. It's got kind of a wrap right here. It's a nursing shirt. And honestly, if this wasn't a nursing shirt, I would still wear it. I would still love it. Like, I, it would still be something I would have purchased because it's just so, it's very flattering right here. It's got like this ruching that goes around here. Um, and then up here, this is what makes it the nursing part, this kind of v-neck thing. Now I have a camisole on underneath, so I'm not gonna flash anybody, but if you were nursing or you are nursing, you would just literally pull this aside. That's my camisole, don't think I'm flashing you. And then um, your bra would have some kind of a hook right here that you would pull down and you'd have access to <laughs> your entire breast. And then it does the same on the other side. And I wear a camisole um, because without it, this right here, would literally it like opens until here um, and the chances of you flashing somebody are really really high so I wear a camisole whoop, for modesty purposes because literally it would be here and that just kind of you know um, which makes it a little bit more difficult if you're nursing because then you have to pull this aside and pull the cami like down and then undo your bra it's like three layers versus just two but that's what that is um, and it's just you know after you have your baby, like those first couple of weeks, this has a lot of excess fabric, so you can literally wear it and it's very forgiving after you like just had the baby. Three quarter inch sleeves, and that's it. I've just got my wedding rings, my earrings on, on my face. The MAC lipstick, Force of Love from the Chinman Collection. I've got NARS Guidey Blush on my cheeks and on my eyes. I've got Smashbox eyeshadow. It's a little trio, like a triangle shape shadow trio uh, it's circular but the shadows inside are triangles um in headshot i want to call i want to call it headshot but they're really pretty it's just kind of a bronzy and then a brown like a red brown and then a shimmery highlight that's that so 
my first question to you guys is, um, I know Thanksgiving, it's like next, what, Thursday. So what color do you paint your nails for Thanksgiving? I probably, I should have saved the Berry Naughty for things because it's that cranberry kind of color. Um, but I did that last week, so I don't want to do that again. And I'm still trying to get the polish off of, you see where it is right there, still trying to get it off my nails. Um, so I don't know, like, do I do pink or the mint color or is it Thanksgiving, you know, not really mint ish, right? Like, you don't really get that vibe from Thanksgiving. I don't know. Just like taupe, like tan or something. And then what do I do for my accent? I just, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to paint my nails like. So give me an idea or go with pink or the mint. Next thing, um, my offices, offices, actually it's really, it's my mom's Christmas party. Um, it's partially the business Christmas party or our business Christmas party and partially a family party, which it's really more family than anything else, but it's our Christmas party. And this year's theme is um, Hollywood glamour. So I was really excited because I thought red dress or sparkles, right? You can't go wrong with sparkles or red dress for a holiday party, but then a Hollywood themed Halloween, Hollywood themed Halloween, no. Christmas party um, Sparkles or red would just be great. So I found this awesome Silver dress that's short like to you know my knee, but it has long sleeves and a really flattering neckline um, And I found it on rent the Because I figured I could go out and you know probably spend three hundred dollars on a sparkly dress that honestly once you've worn it once and the majority of the people that you see um a lot have seen it really like won't get to wear it to anything else does that make sense I mean the chances of wearing it again are pretty slim because most of the people that I know will have already seen that dress so I can't really wear it to anything else and I would never want to wear a sparkly like all over sequin dress to a wedding or anything because that's like the bride's day not my day so I'm not exactly sure I would wear another sparkly dress so I thought rent the runway would be good because you literally can rent for like $100 or $75 or I mean there are some that are like $300 there's a lot of options in the $100 $75 range so I found the dress on there and I ordered it because I'm just in love with it it's a silver one and it's gorgeous and then I was telling my mom about it and she's like oh that sounds great it's sparkly oh how pretty oh it's short well Longer would be better. It's more glamorous. Longer would definitely be a lot nicer for the Christmas party because it's just a little bit more Hollywood glamour. And I thought, okay, well, it's probably, it's not too late for me to change my selection. You know, I can decide I want another dress instead of the one that I originally thought. But I'm like, well, it, I mean, it's sparkly and it's pretty glamorous. I mean, does it have to be long? What do you guys think? Does it have to be long to be the Hollywood glamour style? I don't know. I mean, there are some gold sequin, like long gowns that I could probably rent instead. I just don't know. What do you think? Do you think a short long sleeved, you know, I thought if I have to show something, I would prefer my legs to be shown um, not my arms right now because my arms have lost some tone. I haven't really been toning them up. So my arms will be covered. It'll just literally be my legs that are not covered. Um, but is that not glamorous enough? Does it need to be a long dress? What do you think? What do you, what do you think? I don't know. So let me know what you think. There's that. Next thing, um, Thanksgiving next week, I have to get my daughter's birthday card invitations out because she has requested a Hello Kitty birthday party and her birthday is December 11th. So it comes really fast after Thanksgiving and I try to have the invitations out the weekend before Thanksgiving. I still don't even have a picture to put onto her holiday, I mean her invitation. And the invitations, I get them from Shutterfly.com, that's how I do all my invites or my um, holiday cards. I've got the invitations picked out. There's two of them. I'm in between one that is mostly red and Hello Kitty and then one that is mostly pink and Hello Kitty. So I just need a good photograph to put on there and I've just been really lazy and haven't gotten around to taking them. 
So I need to get one of those so I can do that, slap it on there, and then send them out, hopefully, by next weekend. And then um, the other part of that, aside from the holiday party, or the birthday party we have to have for her, Christmas decoration starts the weekend of Thanksgiving for us every year. So we start with our outdoor holiday decorating. I start really cleaning my house because I don't like cobwebs messing with my garland or anything like that. So I like, in other words, you know, I we hang Christmas decorations everywhere. Some places become inaccessible when it comes to cleaning um, because they're decorated. So I like to clean before I decorate. That way there's no dust or anything back there um, since I won't have access to space for a good month. So that's kind of what we're working into. And then because it is Christmas, I do a holiday card every year. I still have not even started on that. I do have several that I like that I've seen on Shutterfly that I'm kind of playing with in my mind, um, but I don't have pictures or anything taken. So I've got to kind of buckle down and get some of that stuff done. I do know um, that the dress and the tie that my mom purchased for my kids for the Christmas party, I want them to wear those in one or two of the pictures. And then another thing too is um, I've got these red striped shirts that this lady from the striped shirt, it's an Austin company in Austin, Texas. She sent me one for myself and it's red and white striped shirt. I was so in love with it that I had to have one for my daughter and my son. So we have, the three of us have matching shirts, which is, I mean, they're so cute. Um, and then I thought my husband could wear a red shirt because, I mean, not a red, a white shirt, because a red shirt would really look bad on him. He, if you put anything pink or red against his face, he looks like a tomato because his he has a lot of red in his skin. So um, I'm thinking like a white shirt for him and then the striped shirts for my son, my daughter and I, and then like the Christmas tree in the background. I just think it would be so cute. So I'm playing around with how I'm going to set that up. Um, and also I thought maybe some pictures of us like playing outside in the leaves or something with those shirts would be really, really nice. So playing around with that and how to do that onto Christmas card. So that is where I am right now. Kind of, is that everywhere? <laughs> Just kind of planning, you know, holiday season and my daughter's um, birthday party. Five, five years old. I'm not old enough to have a five year old. I'm not. Seriously. Okay, anyway. So that's that. And school for her is going wonderfully. I honestly, um, I have to tell you, you know, my husband did not really feel like she needed to be in school already. He thought, you know, that it would be okay for her to stay home another year and start kindergarten instead of pre-K next year. And I was just like, no, you know, she needed the discipline of being in school. She needed the, um, I, I really don't know how to even describe it, but she needed the socialization of other little kids. I mean, literally, you know, this poor little girl has been at work with me since she was born. Um, and it's just me and, you know, of course her brother now, but there were times where she was bouncing off the walls of my office and driving me literally. I mean, I was just like, I've, I've got to stop. You know, I've got to make these phone calls with clients, stuff like that. And I knew, you know, that she needed that structure she needed. And, you know, I tried as much as I could to have structure in at my office for her. Um, but there was just, you know, when you're sitting down and you're trying to teach her her ABCs or her numbers and you're having to take phone calls in between or, you know, do other bits of work, it's a little difficult. Um, because you're trying to fulfill your responsibility as a mother and a teacher and, you know, your responsibility of being an employer, you know, working. So that was always a very, very difficult thing. Um, and I was just adamant about, no, you know, she needs to start. It's going to be good for her and this and that. And my husband always would make this comment about, oh, we're just sending her there basically for babysitting, you know, or, you know, she's really not going to get anything out of it. It's just, you know, they're going to babysit her all day long. And he's had this kind of attitude about it for not anymore but he did for the first you know month or two until he really started to see and I would tell him you know what I see it every day when I pick her up I see the change I see the discipline in her that has started to really form you know and just how structure has really helped her focus and it, it really and truly has and if you're a stay-at-home mom I'm not saying that the discipline and the structure can't be there 
in my case, because I take my kids to work with me, it was it's very difficult, very, very difficult to dedicate myself completely to one thing or the other because I had my children at work with me. So it's very, very difficult. I'm lucky that I can do that, you know, that I can take them to school with me, I mean, to work with me. But at the same time, it creates kind of this new set of issues that you have to kind of delegate between. And it, it's like, you know, I tried my hardest to teach her everything I could, um, but at the same time, you know, we'd go over everything, and then I'd get called away to do something, and when I'd come back, it was like she'd lost interest, she'd moved away, you know, she had that time to kind of, I don't want to do that anymore, Mom, I want to move on. So now, you know, she comes home from school, and she just has certain things that she's learned to do. She's very, um, now I don't want to say very disciplined, but you can really see how the structure has affected her and how it has really, really helped her. And that's the one thing, if you're a stay-at-home mom, I just, you know, would tell you, structure and discipline. And it really, it helps your children so much. And that is something that was lacking in my world because they were at school with me. So, I mean, not at school with me, they were at work with me. So the structure and discipline, while I tried my hardest to keep them together all the time, literally, you know, you'd get, I'd get phone calls from someone or have to go and, you know, do something else, like work, um, and the structure and the discipline would go out the window because she could run around and do what she wanted for the 10 minutes that I was on the phone call. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was like pointy. So anyway, really, really helped her, and now my husband's attitude is, wow, she's really kind of, you know, learned a lot. And we noticed it the other day because I put a t-shirt on, on my son that had some wording on it. And she pointed at every letter and um, said the letter. And it was like every single letter, you know, in the word. And my husband was like, wow, she knows, you know? And I was like, well, yeah, you know, yeah, she knows. She's been learning things. You don't see these changes because you just think she's being babysat all day long. Um, so literally, you know, things like that, you know, she's counting in Spanish. Um, now she's got all her ABCs down, all her numbers down. And she did before because I really did work on them with her. But she'd get kind of, not embarrassed, it was just like, oh, mommy, you're asking me that again, I don't need to answer you, you know, I mean, it was like she would skip around, or if she knew the color was red, she would say yellow, and then look for your response, and then go, ah, I'm so funny, you know, like, just playing around, playing around with you. Now, red is red, and she'll tell me, you know, exactly what, and there's no more playing around, fussing around, or anything like that, so just a lot of changes that have happened. Um, she has adapted really, really well to it. We did go through the crying for a little while. Every now and then she still goes through this, mommy, I'm sick, or mommy, I don't feel like going to school. I want to stay with you, you know, things like that. But for the most part, she, I'm going to miss my teacher if I don't go to school, you know, stuff like that. So that's really great. Um, they have a Christmas kind of pageant coming up, so she's waiting to see what part she gets in that, and then we'll have to create a costume and all that. But I'll share all that stuff with you guys as it comes up. It's kind of exciting, you know? I mean, I get excited every day. There's new, you know, work that she's done or something that she's created, and it's just fun. Um, the downside of the school, or of it being a private school, is you, you get kind of, you know, you know what the tuition is going to be, they tell you up front, so you know exactly how much you'll be paying, and if that can, you know, work into your budget, then okay, you're fine with that, you know, like, okay, let's, fine, so start and all that, but what you don't factor into is all the things they send home for, you know, we need this, or we need that, or, you know, you need to donate this, or donate that, or do this collection. I mean, it's like every day there is something that needs to be bought or paid for or donated. Um, and I don't have any problem, you know, I don't have any, anything, see anything wrong with charity or anything like that. Um, I've always been a, a pretty charitable person. Um, at the same time, though, I'm just like, oh my goodness, literally, I come home every day and I'm like, I gotta go to the store, you know, for a bag of candy because I've got to donate that, or like today, for Thanksgiving, they're putting a basket together for a family, I have to get bananas, and they have to be there by tomorrow morning, it just drives me nuts, I'm like, ah, every day, um, so yeah, you factor in tuition and uniforms and all that, but you don't really factor in all these little bitty things 
Yes, we nuts. We just got done doing the chocolate sale. Table. Thank you for the chocolate sale. Oh my goodness. It's like $200 worth of chocolate. And my husband ate like $50 worth of it. It drives me. I'm just like, get it out of my house. So there's all those little things that you don't think about. But overall, it has been a good experience for us. Um, and my husband has finally admitted that it is actually worthwhile. So there's that. But anyway, talk to you guys later. If I don't see y'all before Thanksgiving, um, happy Thanksgiving to you. Hopefully I will though because I've got, what, like a whole week before then. But I hope y'all are having a wonderful start to your Thanksgiving season or your holiday season in general. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.